He's not a new artist, but I'm a huge fan, and what an honor to be able to do this together. Would you please welcome Mr. Matt Marr? Um, for those of you who don't know, I, I grew up in Canada when I was 21. I moved to Arizona, and that summer gave my heart to Christ, and about a year later, I got cast in a musical. And I remember the phone call. It was a, a friend of mine who said, hey, um, we're doing a musical at our church about the life of St. Francis. I was like, cool. He's like, but it's set in the Wild West. I thought, who's crazy enough to write a musical like that? He's like, this, this guy, Rich Mullins. I didn't know much about Christian music at the time. All I knew was that he wrote the song Awesome God. And I spent the next month hanging out with a guy named Rich Mullins. And um, actually, I, I was thinking about this, but uh, we, we used to go outside and smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke back then. And we smoked a lot, which, and at first I thought it might be scandalized, but then I realized that the movie's coming out on DVD at Walmart on Tuesday. So you're not going to be scandalized by that anymore. Because <laughs> it's in the DVD. But we spent so much time talking about the scriptures and talking about Jesus. And um, I was just amazed by the character of who he was as a person. And it wasn't until after the fact that I realized how much of an amazing songwriter he was. And if you asked any songwriter today, hey, can you write a song that's theologically accurate, that's scriptural, that's poetic, that has a great melody, and somehow portrays the massiveness of the human condition and God willing to intersect with it, I think most of us would go like, you're crazy. But with Rich, that's what he did in every song. And um, I miss him terribly too. And uh, his absence has left a huge void in the church. But it, the great thing about a night like tonight is that we can remember him. And when we remember him and we sing those songs, we know that as the body of Christ... We know that he's in heaven, and we know that he's doing what he longed to do all the time, which is just to worship God. So David uh, Mullins, if you're here, which I, I'm pretty sure you are, if you could come up. Um, now to accept this award is Rich's brother David. Can you give him a round of applause? formalities, I just want to say on a personal note for me, it was almost 15 half years ago, I guess, and uh, I was playing the, if I can get through this, I was playing the Charlotte Amphitheater, and it was before I went out, it was the, it was the tour where I opened up with Step by Step and it ended with Awesome God, and we were about to go on about 10 or 15 minutes, and my cell phone rings, and it's Randy Stonehill. And uh, Randy said, uh, dude, um, he said, I got some bad news. And it's like, ah, um, okay, what is it? And he just simply said, Rich just went to the other side. I said, what? Rich Mullins just went to the other side. And uh, I was in shock. And uh, I sort of had to get my game face on because I had... 15,000 people in the amphitheater. Uh, and um, I remember walking off the stage and going, I think this might have been my best performance ever. And I say that with all humility because I sit, did it for Rich. And, and I went back to my dressing room and I wept. And I said, and I think I probably said, God, why? You took one of our greatest poets. But there must be a reason. And I believe with all my heart what the enemy meant for evil, he turns it for the good. And as said in the video, as Rick said in the video as well, they're still singing his songs all around the world. So on behalf of the board of directors of the Gospel Music Association and Foundation, it's my honor to induct my great friend Rich Mullins into the GMA Hall of Fame. He's not here tonight, but I can't wait to see him on the other side.
Wow. <laughs> Among other things, I guess. Um, on behalf of uh, our family, I want to thank uh, GMA and whoever that is. Uh, it's kind of good being an outsider. Because if I miss somebody, what are you going to do? Uh, you're not going to see me again, so I figured this is it. Um, so, uh, uh, thank you. Um, uh, there's a, a ton of people to thank uh, from um, the Cincinnati crowd. A bunch of record execs that he probably exhausted. Um, Reed Arvin and producers, engineers, uh, other artists, people like Wayne Kirkpatrick who wrote with him quite a lot, I think, especially in the early years when he was here kind of by himself and lonely. Um, to the ragamuffins and countless band people who no one will ever remember or know their names, to fans, um, one of the things that strikes me uh, with, with uh, Ragamuffin just coming out is, uh, man, what a life. But 17 years later, people are still moved by what God does. I'm moved and, and uh, amazed at what a lot of you all get to do. As uh, so I uh, heard different songs, El Shaddai, wow. Songs of my childhood that my God used to draw me close. Um, what an honor. What an honor to be able to uh, to share Christ in a way that people remember, even when they don't, if that makes sense. You know what I mean is, Jim? Um, thank you all, and uh, God bless you. Thanks.